Hi, I'm Dr. Ernie Bowling, Chief Optometric Editor of Optometry Times Magazine. I want to talk to you for just a minute about an editorial I recently penned because what do I do about TCI? TCI standing for that crappy insurance. I recently received an email from a buddy of mine named Dr. Mike Rothschild from Carrollton, Georgia. Mike and I both started our optometric careers in a small northwest Georgia town, which after a number of years we both left. I went on to teach. Mike went on to open a, and uh, establish an um, optometric mega practice in his wife's hometown of Carrollton. And since then, Mike has also formed, uh, he's, he's on our Optometry uh, Times editorial board. He does a lot of practice management. He has a leadership OD group, which is a optometric peer-to-peer -peer, uh, education and, and training. So, he, so he's done remarkably well since leaving Somerville, Georgia. But he recently sent me an email that asked about how do we handle the plethora of vision care plans that we get, most of them not really even covering the chair costs. And so you'll see in the uh, editorial, it's basically, a, it's basically an evaluation of how much the insurance pays or, and how busy you are. Is, is, are you putting butts in the chair? If the insurance is putting butts in the chair, and then maybe you ought to think about keeping it. If it's not, then what's the use of holding on to it? I think it's something that we all battle with because, and I've seen it done both ways. Some offices will take all the insurances that they can, the idea being that a warm body in the chair is, is better than uh, nobody's in the chair, and others do a cost uh, per hour, uh, fixed cost per hour calculation on their office and realize that no matter these insurance plans, I'd have to do 20 of them an hour to really cover my cost. So I've seen, I've seen it done both ways. And so Michael has devised a little a, the little flow sheet that really kind of gives you a heads up, but you still got to do a, I feel like you still have to figure out what the penetrance rate is in your area for a particular plan before you drop it. Gosh knows there's a number that I would love to drop tomorrow. And while, like I said, I've seen people who've taken all that they're, they, they can, I haven't yet to hear someone say, gosh, I, I regret dropping that crappy insurance. So it's it's always a battle for all of us in practice to figure out which which ones to keep and which ones to let go. And this little uh, grid that Mike displays uh, in his little piece and that I put in the, the print editorial is is kind of helpful to get you thinking in, the, in that direction. Of course, we all struggle with it. We lay awake at night trying to decide what we're going to do. And I can promise you this, they're only going to get worse. There, it seems to me they're on a, a fast track to the bottom to see just how little they can pay us for our services. And so this decision is going to be more and more uh, important to us as, as time goes by. I'm Dr. Ernie Bowling.